this tutorial, we're going to use the conditions module to cause damage to these orbs from our tower. So let's start on the game modules window here and click on conditions. And we're going to start by creating our new condition. We're going to just call this gun one for now. And it's going to be of type damage. This is a new type. So we've typed that in there. We're going to create that here. It's been created down here and you can see the new object right there. We're just going to go in here. We're going to select that it's instant and the effects on points. We're going to choose health and just do negative one, negative one. So that one health will be lost every time this is applied. It's an instant effect. Uh, you can set that up here. You can set that down here. And that means it's just going to have the effect once and then it's going to destroy itself. So let's go ahead and check out our tower. In our tower here, we have a damage condition. So we're just going to bring gun one into that condition there. And let's check out the script. So our attack method here is first going to check to make sure that we have the damage condition. Otherwise, we're just going to put a log error there. It does need to be applied, of course, for this to work. And then we're going to get our closest enemy from a different method that just gets the closest enemy from those who are close by. And if we have none, then we're not going to do anything. The main part here is the enemy actor add condition. We're going to pass in that condition and pass in the actor. This is the actor that's giving the condition, in this case the gun tower, and the actor who's receiving it is the enemy actor. Now add condition is a built-in method on the game modules actor. All of the enemies and the towers all inherit from game modules actor. So they have all of these methods already set up and you don't really have to do anything. Just want to show you this method so you can you know, understand where it lives and how you can uh, use it yourself. The great part about the game modules is really the automation. And so now that we've just called that one line of code to add the uh, condition, now every time that this tower attacks, we can see the health is going down. We don't have to do any additional damage multipliers on this if we don't want to. We can, of course, override all of the methods if we want to customize things even further, but you don't have to. And at this point, we've got a damage system working from the tower onto the enemies just by using the condition module. So there's, of course, a lot more we could do with this. Like, let's say that we wanted it to not be just uh, one health, but we wanted to have a little bit more impact as well. Let's go ahead and turn off instant here. And we're going to have this set to expire in, say, five minutes and five seconds. In this game, one minute is equal to one real world second. So this will last for five seconds. If we go over here to the stat effect, we can add a new uh, impact here. So I'm going to select our movement speed, add that, and we're going to reduce this by point, uh, negative 0.5, which should cut our speed in half. If there were other modifications on that value, then it might not be quite one half. But with this being the only modification, it should be one half. So let's go ahead and press play and see what happens. Now, as we attack, the health is going down and the movement speed is also going down. So there's a lot you can do with the conditions simply by adding the effects in the object. You don't really have to do anything else. Everything else is handled automatically for you. That is, of course, the beauty of game modules. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions on Discord and I will see you real soon. Thanks.